נוי אלוש, שלום. שלום. ולכם לקולטור פאז. נוי, אני חושב שזה סייף להגיד שאתה מתחילה את הקולטור שאנחנו רואים בקולטור המדליסט. עם זנגה זנגה. אני לא יודע אם אני יכול לקחת את ה... אתה יודע. Uh, but I think uh, I did uh, I did it in my way you know like in, in the music uh, I give it I give it the, the music twist you know we got the, the, the Arab Spring and we got the dictators and we got all the stuff that you see in the news and then comes somebody with uh, with parody and, and the music stuff and dance music and, and give all of this uh, to all of this serious stuff like the twist of the, the music and fun. And your timing, I must say, was unbelievable. Yeah, I, I think... Zenga, Zenga. Yeah, I think it was... Uh, this, is, this is what the, the internet allowed you to do. Like, I, I saw it on, on the news in the evening, and uh, after two hours, the remix was already finished, and I uploaded it to YouTube. You, so are, the, you are that fast? Yeah. So, this is this is what the, the internet gave because you see it on the news and then you go uh, to the internet to download the, the, the full uh, uh, the full stuff and then you put it on the computer and you start uh, mixing it and, and do your stuff and then you upload it uh, to YouTube um, and then you send it uh, to all uh, kind of uh, people in the Arab world and, and then you go to sleep. And in the morning you see that you got a million six, people. Six, six million viewers. Yeah, six million today. It's unbelievable, I must say. Okay. And now they should be worried in Damascus? Because there is no Yalush? Everyone asks me, even from Syria and from Iran, I get the email all the time from people that tell me, why don't you do it uh, to, to Assad and Ahmenijad and Erdogan? Uh, uh, Sometimes uh, people from Turkey send me uh, emails. Uh, but I think the situation in Syria is, um, is um, it's like after the level that you can laugh, laugh about it. Like in, in Gaddafi it was at the, at the start and you got uh, the, the speech like in the start of the, of the protest. Right, now it's yeah. too tragic. Yes, you. now it, it's too tragic like to take uh, Assad and, and dealing with uh, all the stuff. But uh, I don't say uh, no, absolutely, you know. Maybe you never say never. Maybe you will uh, give an um, interview or give a speech uh, that uh, I will look at that and, and it will sound to me like a good, uh, good pop hit, so maybe I will do it. I was amazed by the fact that it took people quite a while to find out it was an Israeli who made it. Yeah. Even amongst the Israeli media, there were people supposed to be experts who yes. said it was done by an Arab. Yeah, I, th I think that this is, again, uh, the, the, the secret of, of the internet. That you can sit in, in your home in uh, Tel Aviv, at your room, and doing stuff like that, even that you're not uh, one of the, the rebels in, uh, in Libya. And you do it because uh, uh, you see the news and interest in you, and, and you see the potential for doing it. And then you upload it. And it's all in English, and then you send the link, and no one should know that you are from uh, from Israel. And all the experts, if they today, if they didn't, they, they are not checking the sources, they will be mistaken all the time. Like you have to check from where the video is coming because the world becoming smaller, and everyone can do anything and upload it, and uh, and like me, like do it in two hours, and then. Uh, got that uh, six million people will view uh, the video and most of them are not from Israel. Like in the first day, no one from Israel, after I saw the, the, the YouTube uh, statistic, no one from Israel uh, saw the, the video. It was only from the Arab country and most of the, uh, the people that come from uh, Arab uh, country there did not have uh, peace with Israel. So it was really amazing and After five days, someone find out that I'm from Israel and start writing on my, uh, my, my wall and my, on my YouTube that I'm from Israel. And I thought, okay, this is going to finish because they will not play it anymore. But after two days, it's like they, they, they wrote to me, like, I hate you and I hate your country and I don't like Jews, but you give me a laugh for uh, two, uh, 
two minutes, so I'm going to share it to, to my friends and to my parents. This is important. Yeah. And uh, you just attended a very interesting uh, conference, yeah. the Google conference, yes. where they spoke about the secret of something getting viral. Yes. They brought the expert. It was very interesting. Yeah. And uh, all, all they should have done is show Zenga Zenga. Yes, I talked with him, the, the guy from YouTube. Yeah. I think the, the viral stuff, uh, the, the, you, you, you can't say it at first before you do the, the thing like, I'm going to do it viral. Because it's not working like that. You have like some kind of rule. Like in Gaddafi, it was a Gaddafi speech at the, in, in the evening, the day before. Evening after I saw it on the news and it was hot and it was uh, like everyone talked about it and I just gave it the, 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 uh, the twist. So when you do it viral, you, you never know where if your video is going to be a success in the world or, or no. We already know that Noi Alush cares about what's happening all over the world yeah. in the Middle East, but you also very conscientious, conscientious when it comes to what's happening within the Israeli society. Yes. You have done a few clips. Yes, like I become in Israel like the, the remixer of the politicians, you know. So after the Zenga Zenga, when the protests uh, start here in uh, Israel. The tents. The, the tents protest. So they come to me, the people that uh, bought uh, the, the first tent. They call me and... What about us? You did, uh, you did something about Gaddafi. What about uh, Netanyahu? You did something about him. And, and I told them, I'm not going to do something if I'm not uh, feeling it. You know, I, I need uh, a reason to do that. And like two hours after they called me, it was, they like protest about uh, the price of the, um, of the living. Like, two hours after they cost, called me, cost of uh, the owner of uh, my house like called me. Okay, I'm going to put my grandchild in the house and you have to go. Really? Like after six years. Your landlord yes. evacuated you from yes, the flat? Yes, <laughs> You know, so it was... So you had a personal motive. Yes, and then I was uh, so angry, so I told them, okay, I'm just waiting for the, <laughs> for the second to do it. And then like, the politicians start coming to the, um, you know, to the Rothschild uh, Avenue. Um, and some of them talk uh, some funny stuff and then I start uh, doing remixes for the Portis here and it become very popular and like they using it uh, to like to send it to people and, and uh, motivate make... them to join the yes. protest yes. and there is no shortage of materials in Israel because Israeli politics is so hectic and so, a lot, a lot. so intense a lot of stuff like after um, Two weeks, yeah, and you can do something new. Like you can watch the news at the evening, and then you see some of the uh, uh, things that happen in the government on the, or in the Knesset, and and you can do a lot of uh, a lot of stuff. Another impressive uh, clip, I must say, Thank is you. the clip you have made for the president, yes. Shimon Peres, and this is quite interesting. People uh, usually think about Facebook and the new media. Uh, together with the young generation. And here you take an elderly person and you are able to make a clip that is so natural. Shimon yeah. Peres on the Facebook, a natural yeah. connection. I must say that it was uh, very easy. Like, uh, after, like, in, 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 in this year, like, every, politi uh, every politician wants, like, to be on Facebook. Yeah, I got a lot of calls from politicians and stuff like that. I want uh, you to make me a page on Facebook and I want to do uh, viral stuff. I want, and I always said, I'm, I'm not doing that because if I do it for a politician with, uh, and took a side, so it will be hard. You, you to, will uh, compromise your integrity. Yes, so it, it was hard for me like, to do it and I didn't want to do it. Um, I just say, if I see something on the TV and I will get... The, um, the feeling that I need to do something, so I will do it. And in Paris, in, with uh, Paris, with the president, it was different because Paris is like uh, one of the the only person that uh, most of the people in Israel uh, uh, really like and admire. And it was something that for me was not just for the work; it was like for the country. And it was after I get the call, 
Um, and we talk, it was, we're going we're gonna to do something big. We're going to do something that it's in my areas, like the dance music and, and the Facebook stuff. But we are going to, like, save the, the dignity of all the things and, and give it something that, uh, that even people that are not young would see it and, and say, okay, we've got uh, a cool president, you know. And you definitely made him appear cool, which yes. is uh, the best compliment I can think of. When people watch your clips, it is very clear that you are very, very fond of music. So where did, where did this come from? Your love with, your love with music, from your music. love affair with music. I think it's coming from my childhood, you know, when you're listening to, to stuff. The most fun thing about it that, uh, that I came from the, wo uh, the rock world, the rock and roll and stuff like that. And I played a guitar with a band and stuff like that. But I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> you knew it. And, and one day I just uh, start to listen to dance music. And, and um, when you go to, to a club or to a party and you see like when the DJ play, play a song and I was a DJ too, I was also a DJ. And when you play a song, if you're not playing in a band or a rock, you play a song and you've got a lot of people that dance and everybody singing the chorus. So for me it was like, okay, I've got a new genre that I want, um, that, that I want to be expert on it. And a, new, a new medium. medium. A, a new medium. And it was like dance music. And if you take, it's, it sounded at first not uh, logical, but if you take... The thing of politician when you have the one sentence on the one word that they want uh, to like the zenga zenga they want to to say again and repeat it that the people uh, will get into it the, the catching phrase the catching phrase it's also like in the pop music and the dance music it's the same like if you take the zanga zanga and you take the baby baby of Justin Bieber or the waka waka or Shakira it's or the Friday Friday they eat from the the internet it's the same you just need a, a melody chorus. With uh, a really catchy word, and it will work. And Zenga was a really catchy word. So it's a natural connection. Yes. And you feel, uh, you feel uh, that this is a perfect combination for you. Yeah, I think as it's a, a perfect. A I think it's a perfect combination because I always um, uh, was in, in a place that um, it's cool to send a song to a radio. It's cool that you have a hit on the club. But always searching for the for the other stuff. Like if I have a big hit, I want it to be the biggest one. If I have the big hit, I want it to be the big hit with with something else on the side. So Zenga Zenga was like that, and being my friend for peace with uh, Shimon Peres was like that, and the remixes for the protest in Israel was like that. You like making a pop or dance song, but you are also saying something, and you got uh, satiric, and you got uh, parody. And uh, for me, it's more interesting than just um, exiting in the studio and writing a song to an artist. You know. What can we wish uh, Noy Alush for the future? For the future? What, um, what, what can you reveal? One of your projects to come, if you can reveal? I think that after, after uh, Shimon Peres, the president of Israel, I think the natural uh, stuff will be like if Obama calls and told me, okay, do something to me, and if he not calls, I will do it alone, Anyways. and then I will upload it to YouTube, and maybe he will see it. And, um, and you know, that let's hope that uh, the people that sitting on the Knesset will uh, continue into saying uh, <laughs> funny stuff, and I will have uh, work all the time. You can so, rely on this. Yeah, I can rely on this. Noi, Todarova, good luck and all the best. Thank you.